So in the last video we left off being able to count all of the rows in our database. In this video what we're going to be doing is counting all of the rows in the database that are equal to one URL. In other words, checking if a URL is already in the database. So to do that, what we need to do is access the URL out of details. So the way we do that is we just say details and then we access the URL property. So what we want to do is say select all from index where URL underscore hash is equal to md5 details URL. The reason we're not just checking the URL is because for some reason whenever I did this in my prototype version before the series it just didn't work at all. I have no idea why uh, but this is what fixed it. So before this will actually work if we just run this now what we'll do is we'll get uh, nothing just like we did up here. You can see we get nothing printed out. So what I'm going to do is say echo md5 details URL and we're going to run this again. So there's the MD5 string of google.com because google.com is the first link on our test.html page. So what I'm going to do is just modify this row we've just inserted. I'll just call it google. I'll not give you a description at the minute. I'll just put in a, a fake URL google.com and then I'll put in the hash here. Click go and that'll save. And now what will happen, when this runs we'll get one printed out for the first result and we'll get nothing printed out for any other result underneath because we've only got one result in our table. So let's just run this now. So it looks like it didn't work, but it actually did. This one has just been placed at the end of our MD5 string. You can see that because it's one character longer than all of the other strings. And MD5 strings are all 32 characters long. So we can just uncomment that and we can say down here if rows is greater than zero, then we'll just echo update. Else we'll echo insert. And we'll just append new lines on to make it easier to read. And up here we'll also just echo out details URL and append on a space. So if we just run this, everything will make a lot more sense than it probably does now. If we run this and we stop it, you can see that for google.com we say update and for all of the others it says insert. That's because we want to insert the row into the database if the result isn't already there. But if the URL is already in the database, we're going to update it so that if we crawl it more than once, we don't want to insert multiple copies, we just want to update the uh, results so that we have the most recent version of the website. So the first thing we're going to do is the insert. This is just going to be a MySQL query. So what we will do is we will say result is equal to PDO prepare because this time we're using a prepared statement. So a prepared statement, instead of using the query method, we're going to use the prepare method and we're going to say insert into index values. The first value is the ID, which is auto incremented, so we can just leave that blank. The next parameter is title, so we're just going to say colon title. The next one's going to be colon description, colon keywords. Colon URL and colon URL underscore hash. The next thing we need to do is get these values. And underneath here, what we say is result is equal to PDO execute. And in here, we pass it a variable called params, which is an array which holds all of these parameters we've just created here. So we'll just come out of here and we'll say params is equal to an array and it's an associative array so we set colon title is equal to details title you can see that if we go up here 
our title is there and our title has a capital T that's important it's case sensitive so we say a title then we say description whoops colon description is equal to details description Of these are the same except for this one except for this one here we just run this in the md5 function to hash the url um, and store it in the parameter so if we try to insert this now we'll get an error most likely that's because we'll get an error if any of the fields are null so to fix that what we do is we say if is underscore null params title so if the title is null then we obviously can't insert it into the database. And what we can actually do is just say, if it's not null, then we will insert it into the database. And we'll say, and description isn't null. Then we'll insert it into the database. And we just need to say, uh, result is equal to result execute not pdo execute so if we just stop that and um, we see what we get in our table you can see we have uh, a couple of websites and we have a couple of blank titles so to fix that what we could also say is and uh, instead of saying if it's not null, just say amparams title doesn't equal nothing. And we just copy this. And we do it again. And we do it one more time. And we'll actually just say that because if we don't have a title, then we can't insert it. But if we don't have a description, we can just say something like no description available. So let's just run this again. And let's just stop that. So to test it with empty titles, we're just going to empty the table. And we'll just run this again. And stop it. And we'll see how many rows are in our table. So you can see the only things that have been inserted into the table are the results that had a title. So in the next video what we'll be doing is working on updating rows in the database that are already inserted. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.